I'm Dr. Chris with Barefoot Rehab. And how do you make your chronic neck pain 90% better permanently? No matter whether you've had pain for six months, one year, five years, you've seen three doctors, 10 physical therapists, 15 massage therapists, and your chronic pain is still the same. How do you make it better? Something we do that's special at Barefoot Rehab is we first do a consultation, we talk to you. We want to see if you're somebody who can help with a high probability of success. Then we do an exam. At the exam, we gather our data. Do you have an x-ray? Do you have an MRI? Do you have structural damage? Do you, what are your ranges of motion and the grades for your tests? How much of this adhesion or this glue stuff do you have in your muscles, ligaments, and tendons? Then from there, we give you a diagnosis. This is extremely valuable because once you have a diagnosis and you know what the problems and the pieces are contributing to your pain, then we can figure out what the best possible solution is for each one of those problems. And that's when we tell people you can get 25, 50, 75, 90, 100 percent relief and then these people can decide if they want to go forward with care in order to experience the amount of permanent pain relief that we're offering now we're not always right we're not always perfect but this is the game we play it allows us to be honest with our patients and it also allows patients what they're potentially paying for in order to get the pain relief that we're promising so handsome dr joe is sitting here He's punished. He's sitting in the corner. <laughs> and this is a theoretical diagnosis. Each of the white little pieces of card is adhesion in a different location on his neck. They add up to 80% of Dr. Joe's chronic neck pain. 10% of his problem is disc degeneration in his lower cervical spine. Most often it's from C5 to C7. And also 10% of his problem is overload. Dr. Joe sits at his desk like a numbskull. <laughs> and that causes his neck to be chronically overloaded. So if Dr. Joe decides that he wants to go forward with treatment, we start our care. We spend two treatments removing 20% of his problem in his suboccipital muscles. So on visit three, handsome Dr. Joe comes in and says, Chris, I am 20% better, this is great. I'm like, awesome, let's continue removing adhesion. So then we spend one treatment visit on his nuchal ligament and his medial cervical rectors. So we remove 10% of his adhesion. And now Dr. Joe comes in the next visit and says, Chris, this is great. I'm 30% better. Is there more adhesion for us to remove? I'm like, well, I'm so glad you said, asked that. Yes, there is. Next, we go down to his spinal accessory nerve, his levator scapula, and his CT erectors. We spend another three treatments removing another 30% adhesion. Dr. Joe comes in another three treatments later and is like, Chris, this is awesome. I'm 60% better. Is there more adhesion for us to get rid of? And I'm like, I'm so glad you asked, Joe. Yes, there is. So then we start working on two treatments. We remove 15% of the adhesion at his joint capsules and his cervical multifidus. He comes in the next visit and says, Chris, this is awesome. I'm 75% better. Is there any more? I'm like, yes, Joe, there's a little bit more. This is so exciting. We remove another 5% adhesion from his nerve roots at his scalenes. By now, this is visit nine or visit 10. I've lost count. <laughs> but handsome Dr. Joe is happy. He's 80% better. He says, Chris, is there anything more we can do? And the whole time we've been doing this, I've also been telling him, because remember at the diagnosis, he had a little bit of disc degeneration in his lower neck. So I say, Joe, remember, you have a little bit of arthritis or disc degeneration in your lower cervical spine. So you're not going to be 100% better. This is staying here. This is not going anywhere. But... Let's talk about how you sit. You, you break the sit side lean rule anytime you're sitting down. You need to be leaning against the back of the chair. The, breaking the sit side lean rule is a form of overload. You're just doing too much with your actions. You're putting too much stress on your body. So let's sit properly and we're gonna get another 10% relief. So handsome Dr. Joe starts sitting properly. We get rid of this problem. He comes in and in another four to five days and he's like, yeah, Chris, I'm 90% better now. And I'm like, okay, Joe, our work is done. There's no more adhesion for us to remove. The rest of your problem is your disc degeneration as evidenced by the MRI that you've had. 
Right now, we put you on a maintenance package where in a month you come back in. We make sure that you haven't had any symptoms being provoked, any pain being provoked. Your range of motions have not regressed. If that happens, I'm gonna see you in three months. If you continue staying healthy, I'm gonna see you in six months. We stretch it out as long as you can without having your ranges of motion regress and your symptoms being provoked. If at one month your range is regressed, your symptoms provoke, then we're gonna keep you on one month maintenance visit because what that means is that as you're living your life and maybe you're reading books or you're doing exercise or whatever, you're getting a little bit of adhesion build up over a one, two month, three month period. And that's when we say like, Chris, now instead of being 90% better like it was when we were done with your care, we're 70% better because the adhesions come back. So we might need to do a little bit of maintenance treatment to get rid of that and keep you healthy. But the more somebody is strong, the more somebody sleeps well, the more somebody has an anti-inflammatory diet, these all allow, cause the adhesion to not build back up and to stay healthy and pain-free as time goes by. So this little model that we've used with the little cards and the percentages is how we guess how much permanent pain relief somebody can have. And we're often in the right ballpark for how much relief somebody can get. So it's not a complete guess. We can know at the exam if somebody can get a lot better no matter how long they've been in pain and how many doctors or therapists we've seen. So if you're somebody who would like to know if your chronic neck pain can be 90% better, 60% better, 20% better, whatever it is, Feel free to give us a call at Barefoot Rehab. We'd love to do a consultation exam with you and see what is possible for you. I'm Dr. Chris with Barefoot Rehab. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it for you and scotch taping stuff to handsome Dr. Joe's neck. If you think that this would help somebody, would be valuable to somebody you know who has chronic neck pain, please feel free to share it with them. And until then, what are you grateful for? I love you. Have a great day. Boop.